ladies and gentlemen, prestigious guests and members of the alumni, faculty, administrative and ancillary members of staff, graduates and well-wishers tuning in, bienvenidos a todos. Welcome to the 55th staging of the William Nip Memorial High School graduation ceremony. We thank you for your presence. And with that said, we hope you enjoy every moment of this auspicious occasion. This is a noteworthy celebration because our champions have beaten the odds to achieve success. Entonces, vengan con nosotros. Come, look with us and take this journey together as we celebrate this monumental achievement.
let us pray. We pause to acknowledge your gracious presence with us, good Lord. Your presence by which you have been our help and you have been our guide throughout all our lives. We thank you for your help and guidance, especially in these difficult times through which we are passing. We acknowledge your presence with us now and ask that you will help us and guide us during this time of celebration. We pray that you will bless everything that will be done and said, and that the time will be a blessing to all who share, will be meaningful to all who participate in various ways. But above all, may this time serve to bring glory and praise to your name. For this we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Chairperson, Chairman of the Board of Management, Guest Speaker, Members of the Board of Management, Members of the Parent Teachers Association, Parents and Family Members of the Graduates, Specially Invited Guests, Graduates, Staff, All, Good Afternoon. It is not a difficult thing to express my pleasure in welcoming you, welcoming you all to a ceremony to celebrate a group that has had to surmount close to impossible challenges, to adorn themselves in achievements that make all who are associated with them proud. It is indeed an easy delight to welcome parents and family to share in celebrating true grit and hard-earned success. Yes, it is easy to welcome you to celebrating with your children, a milestone that I have no doubt is a moment as indelible and as meaningful in its significance as their births were. It is easy to, I must admit, and I'm elated to accept the privilege in this year of our Lord 2021 to welcome this batch to their moment to celebrate an accomplished stage in their mission, to make their lives better and this world more sustainable. Because I know of the sincerity and commitment of the members of the Board of Management, the commitment of teachers, the patience of administrative staff, and the tolerance of administrative staff, I'm easily moved to welcome them all to relish this moment that beautifully blooms the fruits of their children's efforts. And it is easy to welcome all others, well-wishers, family members, friends, all, because this moment is as worthy of your present presence as it is a celebration of the substance and worth of a special group of resplendent stars shining in their glory here today. As I welcome all, I ask this group of graduates to accept my best wishes for them as principal. I want to acknowledge that life is difficult, but I'm confident that your accomplishments are indicative of your resilience, your commitment, and your strength which are all qualities you need to consolidate as you progress. Never forget balance fed by a focused gaze on the important things in life. Fun, the material and personal achievements are wonderful things, but know that the sometimes boring, the spiritual and social care are the foundations of lasting achievements. The latter things will tax your character, but make you stronger, more fulfilled human beings, even as the fun you seek the personal achievements celebrated, and the material things gained bring you pleasure. Graduates, please balance all you do by focusing on developing character and nurturing your soul, as this is important. Understand that your ultimate purpose is to serve the Almighty through service to our world. Again, enjoy today and remain focused on your dreams as you continue to rely on God's guidance. Thank you very much. I will play a jazz instrumental by the name of Ladybird. 
Lady Bird is a jazz song done by Tad Dameron, and I hope you enjoy. Class of 2021, on behalf of Grade 11 Management Team, congratulations on your well-deserved success. You have demonstrated resilience in times of adversities, and you are now positioned to make great strides in the workforce and also in your community. You have had to deal with COVID-19 and its many challenges and you are now ready to make a transformational difference in the wider society. As you cherish the fruits of your hard work, I wish success keeps following you wherever you go. Dream new dreams, embark on who you are, embrace life with passion. We have every confidence that with continued work, you will continue to make a difference in our society. All of your hard work, perseverance, has taken you to this moment. Now it's time to take the same determination in your next chapter of life. And as you go out into the working world, just remember the mantra. What you put in is what you get out and is how much you do. I look forward to see you in the successful future. Mr. Jermaine Johnson is a renowned motivational speaker who hails from the parish of Portland. He is a musician, a songwriter, and a composer. He is also a former teacher with 10 years of experience. 
Mr. Johnson graduated from the Northern Caribbean University in 2013 with honors and as class valedictorian. He is the CEO of Johnson Motivate and a well sought after keynote and professional development speaker. Throughout his career, he has worn many hats, including the former director of the Mandeville Children Orchestra, former director of Johnson School of Music and the Islanders Music Academy, and the president of the National Youth Council. He is also the he is also the composer of the Governor General, I believe, initiative theme song. Mr. Johnson, a talented, prolific, inspirational Jamaican. Hello, William Nib High School. It is my greatest delight to share with you in your celebrations of graduation 2021. The protocol has already set distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all class of 2021, good afternoon. What a momentous occasion it is today for us to celebrate the successes of our young men and women who have gone through the hollowed halls of the great William Nib Memorial High School. Now, as I focus on the theme that you said to me, persevering through adversity, I do believe that the class of 2021 has already demonstrated its capacity to persevere through adversity. For understand parents and guardians and all that at the start of 2020, we were all hoping for plenty, plenty in 2020. And boy, one of the things we never had on the list was coronavirus. And thank God for his goodness to us, because were it not for his grace and mercy instead of plenty plenty in 2020 perhaps would have ended up with empty empty things changed and it brought a strain upon the way we teach teachers upon the way we learn students and you had to adapt to online and all of this type of dispensation but amidst it all look at you today you have made us all proud and I believe that we should all put our hands together virtually and otherwise as we celebrate and congratulate the class of 2021. Success is never the result of happenstance or chance. Rather, it is the outcome of the input. Simply put, what you put in it comes out of it and never in the same proportions because we must never forget the simple laws of farming. You reap what you sow, more than you sow, and later than you sow. You reap what you sow, more than you sow, and later than you sow. So if a man wants corns, he plants corns. If he wants yams, he plants yams. If he wants mangoes, he plants mangoes. It's not magic, it's logic. You reap what you sow. But it's not the very day he plants his corn will he get a harvest. It will take some time for the cultivation of the roots, the propagation of the shoots, and ultimately the demonstration of the fruits. But understand, Mr. Pinnock, as long as he nurtures his, his cornfield, he can rest assured that one day in the future he will reap corns. Because you reap what you sow, but you reap it later than you sow. But here is the most important part of the equation uh, pr principle, right? If a grain of corn would have only yielded a grain of corn in return, what would have wasted his time with all of the laborious efforts, nothing on his return, no, no returns rather on his investment. But I'm pleased to let you know that that grain of corn, when properly nurtured, has the potential to bring about a shoot with several ears of corn, with each possessing hundreds of grains of corn. Hence, you not only reap what you sow, Miss Dunn, and reap it later than you sow, but when done well, you reap way much more than you sow. And by all accounts and reports I have gotten, the class of 2021 has been sowing the seeds of success. Hence, they are poised to reap the harvest of success. Put your hands together one more time and celebrate the class of 2021 persevering through adversity but understand class of 2021 that this is not the end it is not even the beginning of the end but it is perhaps in the words of sir winston churchill the end of the beginning simply put even though high school is a very key transition as you move forward into your lives as young adults it is not the end of your journey understand coordinator ivor dunn that it's not done there is more to be accomplished 
accomplished. And that is what I want to talk to you about today. So whereas I celebrate your successes as a class, I want you to understand that you are not yet at a place to sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the day. It is a transition, a graduation to the next level. It is not your retirement because you are yet to enter into the world of professional work. And so as you go forward, just as all you have faced challenges, especially over the last two years of your academic process or your academic development, understand that life is like that. You are either heading into a challenge, in the midst of a challenge, or you are just coming out of challenge. Any way you take it, there is some challenge going on, and therefore, if you are going to strive, you've got to be a true challenger in order for you to persevere through adversity. And I want to tell you today how to persevere through adversity like a boss. That's what I want to talk about. B-O-S-S. -S. Be focused. Organize yourself. Set goals and strive with God. Can I tell you what my boss means again? Be focused. Organize yourself. Set goals and strive with God. Yes, young people, I want you to be focused. It is said in the Jamaican proverb, have picnic said to have mama. Mama, <laughs> oh, your mouth so long. And have mama said to have picnic. Yeah, come, you will see. Simply put, in the process of time, the piglet will learn that this is what happens when you grow up. Certain things happen to you and certain responsibilities will become yours. Now, boys and girls, most of you that have been accomplished throughout the tenure of your primary school life, your high school life, to be taken care of or sustained by your parents and guardians. But understand that you are growing up and it's time for you to know that you ought to be a boss. Now, many of you believe that the moment you leave high school, you are a man or a woman. But I want you to understand that being a man or a woman is more than just passing a certain age. It's also about passing a certain stage. Somebody never got the speaker. In other words, growing old is natural. Once you don't die, you will grow old like door, but growing up is optional. You must choose to grow up because being an adult is not just passing a certain age, it's also about passing a certain stage, and that is the stage of responsibility. And if you are going to be able to take on your responsibilities, you must move on from high school to get your Yourselves qualified. Whether you want to go do skills training and get certified or you want to go to college and get that degree, do not stop until you get to the top. Challenges are there, but you can persevere amidst adversity it's like a boss. B. Be focused. Do not become distracted by the many young men and women who thought that school was their enemy. And the moment they stepped out of the boundaries of high school, they went into society to play the high fool. You need to understand that there's no place for people with that mentality. Because at the end of the day, the reality is if you are not properly positioned to earn enough income to take care of the expenses and responsibilities of your life, you will be in no position to interface with governor because governor will tell you if you shut a motor with a little bit of money and your favorite hashtag will be the struggle is real the struggle is real and that is nothing new the struggle has always been real that is why your commitment to success your commitment to excellence must always be real so be be focused do not be distracted by those you see around you rubbing up their palms and joining the gangs and hanging out on the walls. You need to have some ambition and let nothing stop you from accomplishing them. You may not come from a wealthy family. You may come from very humble beginnings or background. But at the end of the day, if you persevere, continue to press, even amidst your challenges, you can accomplish whatever you desire. But you must do what? Be focused. Keep your eyes and on those dreams you've always had to make an honest man, an honest woman out of yourself because God has created you to be the best, not to be a trend getter. You can do absolutely better. You were created to be a trend setter. So as you move forward into your life, William Nip, high school class of 2021, be a boss, be focused, allow nothing to distract you from your goals. Mm -hmm. Then, oh, 
organize yourself. Yes, organize yourself. You now need to find out what it is you need to do to go to the next level. So if you want to study a particular course and you have not yet investigated the requirements for matriculation, get busy, do the research, find out what you possess, what you are lacking, what are the costs involved, all of what you need in order to get to the next level. Organize yourself. Don't give yourself the comfort of sitting down for a year or two to take a break from school. Many have taken that route, but when the brain becomes lazy, it is difficult at times to re-motivate it to get back on track. You need to keep the same drive that you've had from the beginning of your high school journey and bring it right into the next level of your academic and professional development. Organize yourself. You need to sit down and figure out what it is you need to do and so get yourself together because if you are going to bring your dreams from mentality to reality, if you are going to bring your dreams from your mind to the position where you can say, wow, you're mine, if you're going to bring them from conception to reception, from conceptualization to realization, you've got to organize yourself. Am I talking to somebody? Because you're the boss. Be, be focused. Oh, organize yourself. I'm going somewhere with all of this. S, set goals. Yes, you need to give yourself some timelines. You need to set some goals by which you are going to accomplish certain things. Yes, if you want to do a first degree, it will take you three to four years. If it is that you need a particular subject that you need to matriculate into the program you desire, then go and do that subject. Set a goal that is realistic. Like, hey, the next time they have a reset, do not give yourself unnecessary necessarily lengthy time periods that will hold you back from pressing forward. Do not get into the attitude of stagnation because even waters teach you that if you are stagnant for too long, life stinks. You need to be focused, you need to organize yourself, and you need to set goals. Visualize, envision yourself where you will be five years from now. And understand that for it to happen, it's not just about having some fancy dream. It's about taking the requisite action because the distance between your current location and your final destination is called action. You need to ensure that you put in all the strategies, the commitment and the perseverance necessary to take you from where you are to where you ought to be. Yes, challenges will come along the way, but you are a real challenger because just as all you persevere throughout the years of high school and throughout your life to this point in time, you still possess what it takes to what? To persevere amidst adversity, to persevere through adversity. Let nothing keep you back. You can accomplish what you will. And in the words of Aristotle, understand that excellence is never an accident. Mm -mm. It is always the result of high intention, sincere efforts, and intelligent execution. Come on, somebody. Excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of what? High intentions, uh, Deborah Patterson, sincere efforts, and what? Intelligent execution. So if you want to press forward and to accomplish your goals, you've got to be wise about it. Yes. So you need to what? Be focused. Allow nothing to distract you from accomplishing your dreams in life. Oh, organize yourself. Get together all the things you need to in order to position you for the next level. S, set goals. But understand that it's not just about goal setting. It's about working towards the accomplishment of those goals because dreams are, are, are dreamt when people are asleep. To make your dreams realities, you have to wake up and smell the coffee or your dreams will become nightmares. If you are just dreaming but not putting in the requisite actions to make your dreams realities, you will never be able to come on the stage on the future and to say to people like Nesbeth, Never start I want to like how Martin Luther King and I started my dream. No, your anthem will be nightmares, 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 nightmares. All of my dreams have become nightmares. Me can't buy food for eat, me can't find clothes for wear. And of course, you will not be able to go on to the next line. Look at me now, look at what? If you want your dreams to come to pass, if you want to be a true success story, ensure that you set goals and work hard towards their accomplishment. For dreams are dreamt when people are asleep. To make them realities, you have to wake up and smell the coffee.
coffee or your dreams will become what? Nightmares. Because you're the boss. So you have what it takes, class of 2021, to persevere through adversity. Now understand, Vice Principal Archie Steele, that even though they are focused and they are organized and they are setting goals, there's another important element that they need in order to be successful in life. And that is the final S, strive with God. The Bible declares in Proverbs chapter 3, in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Jesus himself tells us in Matthew 6 and verse 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. But Vice Principal Webster Thompson, many may be saying, hey, once I depend on God, I don't have to do anything. The Lord will provide. Understand, as the Bible declares, that faith without works is dead. So whereas you are dependent upon God, ensure to play your part. And when you have diligently done your part, whatever is left is in the mighty hands of God. I never knew success until as a young man in Titchfield High School back in the years, I committed myself to the Lord. By the time I settled down in high school, it was too late. But because I was settled in the Lord, the results were still great. Am I talking to somebody? When you put God first, he will always elevate you, ensure that you live for him, and ensure you expose the highest level of religious standards and morality that will set you as a standard bearer in society. Because once God is in the lead, you will succeed. Come on, let's say it in the chat. Sir. Once God is in the lead, you will succeed. So strive with God because God will empower you amidst the challenges you face from the adversary to persevere through adversity. Be the boss. Be focused. Organize yourself, set goals, and strive with God because we want you in the future to be a true representative of your alma mater. We want to see you being interviewed on profile. We don't want to see you being shamed by governor telling you to shut them up with a little bit of money. So go forth and ensure that you become a successor. Do not stop here. Do not go and get pregnant, young ladies. Be a not done. Be a not done, Mrs. Dunn. Therefore, make sure that you position yourself for success before for your position yourself for babies. Am I talking to somebody? Read between the lines. Because understand at the end of the day, if you do not get qualified young ladies and young men, you may just become employed just the same. But understand that what you will get for a salary is called minimum wage. Can I talk to you, Jove and Samuels? The last time I checked, minimum wage, I mean, the last time I checked, the minimum wage in Jamaica is $7,000 per week. Mm -hmm. That's $28,000 per month. Are you ready to spend? Now, the average monthly rent in Falmouth and most other places, no major amenity nor vicinity, more on the bushy side, you may get a one-bedroom flat with no furnishings, etc., for $35,000 per month. But me nice. I'm going to give it to you for $20,000. So, boom, sir, you get a rented place for $20,000 per month, and you're getting minimum wage, $28,000. Because you're not qualified, you are not certified, so you cannot get any proper proper money and as such you are going to learn the phrase and the true meaning of the expression the struggle is real now let's say that you pay $200 to work each day $200 back that's $400 some people go to Montego Bay that's more and all but I'm nice I will stick with $200 go and $200 come that's $400 per day times 5 principal right that's $2,000 for the week times 4 that's $8,000 for the month so $20,000 for your rent $8,000 dollars for your transport that's twenty eight thousand dollars pick up yourself there goes your minimum wage up until now you haven't bought any food so when you begin to lose weight and somebody said patsy i look like you're slim down say say yes me i watch me figure coming on and look big like pastor johnson lie can't buy food for me but at the same time understand that not every slim person cannot afford food some of them actually have excellent better body sins but that's one other time one another place not only so no roll on what do you think you are stinker no tissue that's a major issue. Young ladies, you will always be without always. Read between the lines. The point is that you're going to struggle. And then for a young man, crime and violence and not just scamming. And these things become more attractive. Young ladies themselves will go into this direction or some of them will try to find a man who looks as if he has a little bling bling and money to take care of him. But let me talk to you, William Nib girls. As Granny said, when man are looking right donkey, when him are left him ride horse. When a man is wooing a woman, he rides a donkey. Meaning he 
exercises patience in wooing her to win her affections. But when he's leaving, wanting to run away while she's hoping to settle down, he rides a horse. He does so very quickly. When man, look here, right? Thank you. When he man, he ride us. And therefore, you cannot subject yourself to such atrocities. Why do you believe that so many young ladies have to be raising children all by themselves? Why? Because the men were not seeking to raise families. They were just seeking to be like farmers, to plant seeds and leave you alone to reap the big pumpkin. Hello, somebody. We need to stop that right here and now. And as soon as you're hoping for a little support, DNA, that is not available. And the same man that was all up in your business, I searched all over. <laughs> Couldn't find no daddy. And not only so, why do you think domestic violence is so prevalent in Jamaica? Many of the women know that the situation is not ideal, but the real is that if those men don't give them money, they can't put in hairstyles. If the men don't give them money, they can't buy food. If the men do not give them money, they will live nowhere. And so they are taken advantage of. But try that to a girl, with a girl who can provide for herself. They say principal right that good girls we have things. It is true, Sophia Jeremiah. But them all the things, young ladies, you must strive in life to persevere through the adversities, to position yourself for excellence, that no man, that no one will be able to take this advantage of you. Young men, you must try to be your best and to reach up to the top like a true trendsetter, that you are not attracted to the idle work that the devil has for those who have those idle hands. Ensure that you position yourself to qualify for the professional world of work, that you don't have to be in the gangs, that you do not have to be in the scamming, that you do not end up in the prison or worse off in the cemetery. Be a boss. Be focused. Organize yourself to set goals and strive with God. We want you to come back in the future to be a true representative of the great William Lim Memorial High School when coronavirus does will him not keep in anymore and you are the guest speaker for graduation and we can gather together in a physical location and when you're coming up you have a roll over young man in your nice range over pop 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 you know that, that the care will want and when you step out of the place you know, in your nice three piece suit and long more boot looking nice and cute Come true, my youth. But if you are going to have that type of success, you must remember all those things cost money. And if you don't get into college, no degree, no degree, no qualifications, no qualifications, no job, no job, no money, no money, no honey. The sweet things in life, no honey. Your corner's dark, it ain't sunny. And nobody laugh because our life not funny. We want our young ladies to return as keynote speakers for prize giving. Am I talking to somebody, Mr. Thompson? And when she comes over, she rolls in on the ends in a nice Mercedes Benz compact up in front of family and friends. And when she step out, she don't look like no granny in Mr. Graham. No! She well slick out in our nice Louis Vuitton shade of black pencil dress, contrasted by her, her six inch future pink stiletto, complemented by her Chanel and Aldo bag. I don't know, say so you can't look good and smell good. No, 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 we're no couscous granny. That, that, that's not keeping anymore. It is Angie Dumona and Gucci Guilty, sent by Issy Miyoki, and all of these things. And you know to me still that a woman is never true dressed up until she attends her head. And I'm not talking about the academics in this instance. I'm talking about here's Styles. And if she doesn't like the one that God gave to her, she can invest in her HBO, not the home box office here, belonging to others. And she's not coming on a cheap Remy Yaki and Canical and a premium Yaki. You know. It's Peruvian, Malaysian, and Brazilian frontal. And when she step out, I yes, some nice. Yes, girls of the bridge in high school, you can do it. But for that to happen, you've got to commit yourself to success. Yes, Mrs. Kerr, it is a possibility. But for them to accomplish it, they must be like a boss. Be focused. Organize yourself. Set goals and take the requisite actions to accomplish them. And strive with God, knowing with God in the lead, you will succeed. You are not a mere trend getter. You can do better. God has created you to be a trend setter. So go forth and be exemplary. When others are sitting, make sure you are standing. When they are standing, stand out. When they are standing out, be outstanding. And when they are outstanding, be the standard. You never heard me. I said, when others are sitting, make sure you are standing. When they are standing, stand out. When they are standing out, be outstanding. And when they are outstanding, ensure that you are the standard.
standard. Come on, class of 2021. I want you to type in the chat. I am the standard. Come on, parents, as you motivate them. I am the standard. Come on, pre-teachers and administrators and all stakeholders as we support them. I am the standard. You can persevere through adversity, but you have to be focused. You've got to organize yourself. You've got to set goals, and you have to strive with God because you are a true trendsetter. Go for it, class of 2021, and show the world that indeed you are the standard like a boss. God bless you. world's greatest. I am a mountain, I am a tall tree, oh, I am a swift wind, sweeping the country, I am a river, down in the valley, Oh, I am a vision that can see clearly If anybody ask you who I am Just stand up tall, look him in the face and say I'm that star up in the sky I'm that mountain peak up high Hey, I made it mm -hmm. I'm the world's greatest mm -hmm. And I'm that little bit of hope when my back's against the roads, I can feel it. Mm -hmm. I'm the world's greatest. I am a giant. I am a negro. Oh, I am a lion down in the jungle. I am a marching band. I am the people, oh, I am a helping hand, I am a hero, if anybody asks you who I am, just stand up tall, look him in the face and say, I'm that star up in the sky, I'm that mountain peak up high, hey, I made it, mm -hmm. I'm the world's greatest, mm -hmm. And I'm that little bit of hope When my back's against the road I can feel it mm -hmm. I'm the world's greatest You will reign Oh yeah Shine a light In me And I'm that little bit of hope When our back's against the road I can feel it When I saw the light At the end of the tunnel Believe in the part of gold At the end of the rainbow When my back's against the road I can feel it Mm -hmm. I'm the world's greatest And I'm the greatest Can you feel it? It's the greatest Yay. Yay. Congratulations to the class of 2021 The Chairman of the Board of Governors, Mr. Jonathan Hemmings. 
Principal Mr. Linvern Wright, Vice Principals Mrs. Steele and Mr. Thompson, the guest speaker Mr. Jermaine Johnson, teachers, other members of staff, parents, families, friends, and, and finally the graduating, the graduating class of 2021. 2021. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. We deem this to be a high honor and privilege to have been selected as the valedictorians for this year's graduation exercise. First, we would like to thank the guest speaker for that inspirational address. We pledge to live by the principles outlined in the address and will allow those words of wisdom to mold and fashion us into excellent leaders of tomorrow. Shh! Wanna hear that? Listen, you know what I hear? That's the sound of mouth dropping and eyes bulging for those who think we could make it. Tears of joy, happy hearts for the parents who tried with us, who encouraged us even when you thought we weren't listening to your long and incessant when I was a boy and when I was a girl lectures. Today, it is proof that we were listening and today, we, the graduating class of 2021, can sit here and show off in our purple and green, rejoice, and say, we have made it. We are graduates. Who remembered the sleepless nights, the early mornings, the tears, the cha, me can't bother. School is not for me. All of that struggle, all if you come here in an exam. Students, your time is up. Put your pencils down. Time of flying. I remembered when we first came to the William Lane Memorial High School, new occupants of the grade seven classrooms. We were full of excitement and vigor, ready to take on the world. We had many dreams and aspirations. Some wanted to become doctors, lawyers, teachers, even professions that didn't exist, we created them. Then it was time to transition into grade eight, where things started to get a little bit more serious. Then grade nine came, and grade nine is right between grade seven and, grade seven and eight, grade 10 and 11. It was a time of decision making where we had to choose which subjects we would, we would do in grade 10 and therefore which direction we would take. It was a difficult time and a time of confusion for many of us, but with the wisdom and guidance of our teachers and parents, we were able to sort it out and we were set to embark on our grade 10 journey. Who remembered? It is not business as usual, it is business unusual. Our first principal, Mrs. Alcia Morgan Bromfield, who, we, who sadly passed away. Oh, how we missed her. And to other principals who laid the foundation so that we could be here today. Thank you. September morning 2019 came and we were out in our numbers, ready to take on the challenges of grade 10. Things went fairly smoothly and we were at the end of the Christmas term. Then came January morning, the start of the epic year 2020. We kick-started the year with an earthquake, but oh what fun we had. School ended abruptly. It was a festive day, but little did we know, looming on the horizon was a beast of a challenge labeled COVID-19 or coronavirus that would plunge us suddenly into a new normal. All of a sudden, our homes were converted into school. And then we started to realize that we didn't want to be at home. This took away all the excitement from going to physical school and the very special lunch money. Suddenly, there was no more Mr. Thompson and his long speeches in devotion. Or when we were walking on the wrong side of the corridor, you would only hear, you boy, or you girl, stop, go back. There was no more sports day when Mr. Becky can't have complained about he owes and he knows that he now play fear. Big up, 
Big up Jeb Zites, Sharp Heights, Edgar Heights, and lastly, Birchelites, Miss Becky Owls. On a lighter note, there was no more going to the talk shop in the long line. Only for when I reach up our front, for hear Miss Twinky and Miss Donna, of course. And how can we forget all you chicken was here with enough time when lunch done power? We? we cannot forget the great D Cup team, tracks team, netball, and basketball team. Big up on yourself. To our new principal, Mr. Wright, we welcome you. But the best things that we could ever cherish from our high school years were the friendships that we made that would last a lifetime and the, mo and the many interesting teachers we encountered along the way. Not to mention the knowledge gained, like solving circle theorem or algebraic expressions, understanding the carbon and nitrate cycle. The, I'm sure most of us don't even remember the first step in the nitrate cycle. Mr. Watson would be so proud. But seriously though, this pandemic suddenly plunged us into an unknown, untried situation. But in the midst of it all, we had come up with a creative and innovative ideas to make it work. Our teachers came out as champions in this time of crisis. And we just want to pause right now and say a big heartfelt thank you. We, the graduating class of 2021, is not an ordinary group. We are shifters and shakers of this new era. Now, here we are as graduates. That does not mean we have attained all our goals. No, it is just the start of new beginnings. Who are we? What does our future mean to us? Sir Winston Churchill states at that, and I quote, this is not the end. It is not even the beginning of the end but it is perhaps the end of the beginning. The world is, has, and has been changing into what we call now the world of technology because of this pandemic. But we are young, talented, and we were born for this age. As we step out into reality, may we continue to seek for more knowledge as our motto states, Ignorance excels, knowledge liberates. May we, as Miles Monroe says, live full and die empty. May your best days be ahead of you. Continue to shine and elevate yourselves as we are now stepping over from William Nibs, boys and girls, to tomorrow's men and women. Graduating class of 2021, big up on yourself. In the year 2016, most of us began our high school journey at the William Nib Memorial Thank High School. Some were afraid of change and some were ready for what high school had to offer. We all faced different challenges and we all had different experiences. Things have changed since the coronavirus the and we lost the majority of our senior year. But we can reflect on our past years Thank in ninth, eighth, and seventh grade. We can laugh at our funny moments together and even reminisce on our sad ones. The past is what makes us who we are. Thank you, William Nim, for preparing us for what future events lies ahead. Thank you for the happiest year of my life. Thank you for the happiest year of my life. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, I now proudly present to you the graduating class of 2021. Romaine Allen. Tony Allen. Alexia Anderson. Barrington Barrett, Omisha Bell, Britannia Bernard, Terrell Blackwood, Shanoya Brissett, Clevina Brown, Shalika Brown. 
to Sane Burgess, Ashton Burke, Shemise Burke, Angelica Campbell, Ashley Campbell, Danielle Campbell, Jada Campbell, Alex Chambers, Ashley Chin, Quan Chin, Kevin Clark, Krista J. Clark, Janae Cole, Rosinia Cole, Tiona Kaur, Brianna Curate, Cornell Da Costa, Ashina Da Costa, Brandon Davis, Onardo Dixon, Deandra Dona, Colleen Ebanks. Jadian Ferguson, Xavier Fisher, Antonio Forbes, Devon Francis, Karen Gager, Chrissy Glanville, Janelle Gordon, Nathania. Gordon, Jerichia Greaves, Adrian Greenfield, Jabari Gregory, Tenesia Hall, Tiffany Harrison, Malik Hemmings, Nadiana Henry, Asani Henry, Shelley's Hill, Brianna Hodges, Kellyanne Huey, Najiri Hutchinson, Wayon Hilton, Sophia Jeremiah, Janae Johnson, Lisa Marie Jones, Kensani Kelly, Sharice. Kelly, Khalil Carr, Shante Lang, Timory Lee, Shayla J. Lewis, Brittany Malcolm, Tiamoy McGregor, Abigail McLean, Quinton McLean, Shakia Miller, Kyle Mitchell, Aisha Moffat, Mark Mullins, Brittany Palmer, Devon Palmer, Deborah Patterson, Rihanna Patterson, Colonel Peart. Joel Petgrave, Cameron Pine, Shamoya Ramsey, DeAndre Rashford, Brandon Reed, Tiona Roden, Adion Richards, Nalia Robinson. Derandi Samuels, Jovan Samuels, Marvin Samuels, Norbrina Scarlett, Tomlin Seeley, Michael Seabright, Anika Shaw, Bethony Shirley, Jamar Skyers. Emily Smart, Andrea Smith, Sienna Smith, K. 
Kenil Solomon, Akelia Spencer, Nidron Stevenson, Alex Stewart, Tiana Stewart, Romario Walcott, Devian Winstanley, Sakina White, Tonique White, Tyreek Whitaker, Rushane Worms, Shade Williams, Tiana Wong Kang, Danielle Ray. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your graduating class of 2021 from the William Nib Memorial High School. Congratulations, graduates. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, our Creator and King, we thank you for such a beautiful day and that we have come to the end of another school year. I pray, O oh God, for our graduates as they come to the end of their high school years and chart on a new beginning in their life. I pray, O oh God, help them to use the skills they have garnered from the school to become better men and women of tomorrow, to make the world a better place. Oh God, I pray, Lord, as they about to leave, 
that they will serve others in true solidarity and kingship. I pray help them, Lord, to consider the poor, that they may help them and those who are needy. Lord, we know some of them, Lord, will fall in hardship or in hard times, but make provision for them, Lord. Those who will have difficulty finding college tuition, those who will have difficulty finding a job. I pray, Lord, provide everything at your fingertips, that life will be easy for them to go through. Provide the school fee. Bless them abundantly and keep them under your wings, that they make their community a better place, Jamaica a better place, and the world a better place. In Jesus' name, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you our subject prizes and awards for students who were exceptional for the academic year 2020 to 2021. Lisa Marie Jones, Economics, Principles of Accounts, Information Technology. Shamoya Ramsey, Principles of Business. Khalil Wright, Principles of Business. Akilia Spencer, Principles of Business, Information Technology, the Book Place Award for the Most Outstanding Business Education Student. Jabari Gregory, Principles of Accounts, Information Technology, Mechanical Technology, Electrical Technology, Technical Drawing for Mechanical, the Leaf of Life Hardware Award for Excellence in Principles of Accounts, the Vinroy Thorpe Trophy for the Most Outstanding Industrial Arts Student. Tayana Wan Ken, Principles of Accounts. Shemise Burke, Spanish, Social Studies. Shade Williams, Social Studies. Tanisia Hall, Information Technology. Ashley Chin, Spanish Geography. Oshani Hosing, History. Simonique Simpson, Social Studies. Colonel Peart, English A. English B, History, Physical Education, the Kerry Ann H. Mitchell Award for the Most Outstanding Student in English Literature, Joint Award, the Johan Henry Trophy for the Most Outstanding English A Student, the Bromfield Cash Award for the Most Outstanding Student for English A and English B. The Sports Plus Trophy for the athlete with the best academic results. Norbrena Scarlett, English A. Joint Award, the Johan Henry Trophy for the most outstanding English A student. Nigiri Hutchinson, Biology, Geography. Joel Petgrave, the H and A McKellop Trophy for the most outstanding cadet. Jerica Greaves, Social Studies. Jada Campbell, Social Studies. Sakina White, Social Studies. Theona Roden, Family and Resource Management, the Ricardo Stationery and Supplies Award for the Most Outstanding Home Economics Student. The following students have been awarded for Food, Nutrition, and Health. Brissani Palmer, Andrea Smith, Janae Cole, Brianna Hodges, Angelica Campbell, Tenicia Hall.
tonic white textiles clothing and fashion Taj Mark Henry building technology Daniel Young building technology Duelia Taylor electrical technology Quan Chin technical drawing building Aisha Mofat economics principles of business biology the Barrett Shield for academic excellence and exemplary conduct she is also our top female student Jovan Samuels English A physics chemistry mathematics agricultural science double award the Desmond Leakey trophy for the most outstanding agriculture student the Bank of Nova Scotia trophy for the most outstanding mathematics student joint award the Johan Henry trophy for the most outstanding English A student the Pat Tomlinson trophy to the most outstanding science student the Neville Manderson shield for academic excellence and exemplary conduct Jovan Samuels is our top male student let us applaud them for this outstanding achievement and remember here at William Nib ignorance enslaves and knowledge liberates
Chairman of the Board, Principal, Vice Principals, Academic and Administrative Staff, Parents, Students, and of course, my fellow graduates, a pleasant day to you all. It is a privilege and a pleasure to be delivering the vote of thanks on this very special occasion. First and foremost, I'd like to thank the Almighty for allowing us to be here today and for bringing us to our senior year, for it was a very challenging one. It is often said that gratitude is the attitude that will bring you to your altitude. With that said, on behalf of my fellow graduates, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our guest speaker for today, Mr. Jeremy Johnson, for addressing us today and delivering a very insightful and encouraging message. I'd also like to extend my gratitude to the academic staff for their relentless efforts in ensuring that we are fully equipped with the knowledge and skills needed to successfully sit and pass our external examinations, as well as allowing us to be able to face whatever life throws at us. Their determination is greatly appreciated. Let's also not forget about the ones who are always there for us, our parents. We thank you, for it is your never-ending love and support that has allowed us to stay strong and overcome each and every obstacle in our path. Without you, we would not have been here today. You have helped us in any and every way possible, and for that, we extend our heartfelt gratitude. I'd also like to thank the ancillary and administrative staff for their continuous efforts in maintaining the school grounds and creating a clean environment for us to learn, work, and grow efficiently. We'd also like to thank the organizers of this event for allowing us to have this ceremony despite the ongoing pandemic. Finally, I'd like to thank you all for participating in our virtual ceremony, for it would not have been the same without you. Thank you, and may God continue to bless, guide, and keep. Our staff ceremonies, Chairman of the Board of Governors, Members of the Board of Management, Members of the PTA Executive, Members of Staff, Members of the Board of Management, Parents, Students, all categories of staff, well-wishers. On behalf of William, we can affirm that lives have been blessed through the celebration of the achievements of a resilient group, the Batch of 2021. As a school community, we have little choice but to admit that this celebration, planned and executed by sincere hearts, is a mere but invaluable token of our intentions for you and the future of your children. The presence of all persons here was appreciated, and we beseech the safe hands of our Creator to guide you all home. Today, our graduates and all of us appreciate the strength of your love and the purity of your hearts as we thank you for having been present with us at this graduation. God bless.